Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Do and Out. Today we are making some lamb stew. Just before we get into it, I wanted to ask that you please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. All right, so let's get right into it. I have here about one kilograms of lamb, okay? And I just coated it in flour, just one tablespoon of flour. And I did not have my steak and chops, but whatever spice that you have, steak and chops, barbecue, you can use that. I use the chisanyama spice that's what i had so i just sprinkled one tablespoon with the flour coated the meat and in a very hot pan you sear it okay so you firstly have to brown your meat well just make sure that the pan is not over over crowded so this doesn't like rules that much so i just added everything all at once i just make sure if I ever, ever crowd my pan, you just let it go on high heat for quite some time until it's perfectly browned like this one here. Alrighty, so what I have here is an onion, just a medium sized onion. I chopped it down and I'm just gonna add it into my into my nicely browned lamb. Okay, so I'm just gonna make my onions soft. There's no rule to this. You can totally add your onions with your water. It still tastes beautifully. Okay, so now I have mutton stock. All right. So I have mutton stock. I'm going to add one and a half of it, of the cubes. You want to, because here's the, the thing about salt is you cannot take it out. But you can always add more. So I always like to start it down with one and a half. Whatever stew I'm making. So I would do just one and a half first if it's one kgs. And then I will go in with some more if need be. Because once this reduces, all the flavors come through. Okay, so I'm going to add to this. I'm going to add two liters of water okay i think this yes so now this is me adding the mutton stock just one and a half of it okay so getting some black pepper so i just grinded some black pepper now i'm adding my just thyme one teaspoon of thyme goes in one teaspoon of oregano goes in you can always substitute this with mixed herbs anytime it it also work it also works now I'm adding my curry, just one teaspoon of curry goes in there. Let that cook, mix it up and then close. Okay, so this is 30 minutes of cooking my stew and this is how it looks like, it has reduced. Now what I normally do when I'm making stew or making simp, I always simmer. So I just let it sit on the stove, switch off my stove, 
close my pot for a good 15 minutes with this one and then we'll continue cooking. Okay, so this is after 15 minutes of simmering. Now we are back on the stove. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of water. So I'm going in with 500 ml of water. Then I'm just going to close my pot, let that cook again until it just reduces a bit. Then we're going to add a packet soup. Okay, so what I have here is the tasty mutton and vegetable packet soup. Okay, I usually just go in with one teaspoon of these packet soups and then I always just add one teaspoon of flour. I added just half a cup of water into my one teaspoon flour, one teaspoon packet soup mixture and I'm just going to add that into the pot. Whenever you add your thickener, whether you're adding flour, cornstarch or these packet soups, always just make sure that your heat is at the lowest, lowest as much as we want to cook the floury or flavor of your packet soup out always make sure that your heat is down i wanted to add that at this point you can have this as it is if you're having it with pap i just like having it without the soup if i'm having it with pap it tastes really good you have all those flavors um but today i want to thicken mine and yeah so you add your your thickener your flour or cornstarch or your packet soups just make sure that you heat it up or cook it out on your lowest, lowest heat. Okay, so I'm going to go, if I'm using my normal stove, I'd be at maybe two, you know. I'd be at my lowest, lowest heat, but still cook out the flowery taste. Okay, this looks perfect to me. So I'm going to close this up for a good five to ten minutes and we will be ready to eat here it is guys we are now done please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for tuning in see you on my next video Santandi.